Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. All right, so for today's video, the beer's courtesy of Brian. Thanks so much, Brian, I really appreciate it. Uh, I was super stoked to get this. I mean, obviously and honestly. Um, so this is Hill Farmstead and The Alchemist. This is one that was brewed at The Alchemist. It says so on the bottom. Uh, it is about a month and a half at time of review, if you care about that. It's uh, Flood Relief IPA. So yeah, Vermont was having some you know really horrific floods and um, they teamed up and um, I, I didn't know I was going to get this beer so I did watch the NerdSense guys uh, review of it. And if you don't watch NerdSense, I don't understand you. Make sure you check them out and uh, especially their review of this because um, they had you know some good information and all that. And I did reach out. I was like, wait, so am I remembering correctly in your video, you guys mentioned that this, I don't remember if it's like officially stated or just kind of like people know, um, but it's kind of like a mashup of Hetty from Alchemist and uh, Edward from Hill Farmstead. And if you know any better, let me know in the comment section below. I don't mind you telling me I'm wrong because it helps the algorithm when you comment. <laughs> uh, let's see what it back says. Flood Relief IPA of our mutual love for our vibrant state. We have come together to craft this beer and raise money for Vermont Flood Relief. 100% of all beer sales will go directly to Vermont based funds to support our neighbors, farms, and Main Street businesses. Made in Vermont for beautiful Vermont. Um, just such a cool, um, you know, I, I actually, I'm going to film one of my thir Thursday's Thirsty Thoughts videos about, um, I don't know what I'll call it yet, but not like Beers for Charity, but like Beers for a Cause will probably be the, the name of it. And um, it's just good. It's one of my favorite things about craft beer. There's like healthy competition and then there's a lot of collaboration. I love that. And you do see a lot of... Um, you know, things like this, and again, that'll be a separate video, um, you know, super local, just, yeah, we're doing a fundraiser, you know, at the brewery for, you know, the, the local Boys and Girls Club or whatever, you know, so I, I love that stuff. So that'll be a separate video, so I'm not going to talk too much about the uh, the charitableness of this beer, but I do think that's rad. I just want to say that in this video, though. All right, so that's a nice orange color. It's, like, unfiltered looking for sure into hazy, um, not like the you know, quote unquote, New England style uh, IPA haze that we're used to from many breweries now, but it has that like OG New England style haze, you know? Uh, the head, not super compact, um, about uh, half a finger, three quarters of a finger ahead, um, grayish white uh, is probably the best. Although in the center, it's relatively compact actually. It's a beautiful looking beer. I got my Alchemist glass. This doesn't say drink from the can, so I think I'm okay drinking out of the glass. Let's get into the aroma. It has, okay, so there is some nice fruitiness. I've talked about this when I, I, I did this in my um, review of Hetty Topper recently. And a couple people did comment on that one specifically, plus I've had many conversations. I get nuttiness from the yeast that they're using. So I definitely get that, um, which, I mean, I like, it's, it's not like it smells like peanut butter and jelly, but like fruit and nuttiness that's a winning combo for me, you know? So it's not an off thing for me. And I, I liken it to how, like, I love cilantro, but some people taste soapy, apparently, right? And I think it's one of those things where some people don't get that nuttiness and people like me do. And it's definitely, you know, there for me. Um, but again, I like it. And you do get some nice fruitiness. I know Hetty better than Edward. Edward. Did I say Edward before? I have a student named Edward, sorry. Uh, Edward. Um, so I won't be able to do too much with that. Not that I want to make the, I don't want to make this a comparison video. All right, so my citrus notes, kind of like a uh, orchard fruit thing. And then it, what, what is it? It's not pine. It's dank, but it's, it's hitting a little different than some other beers I've had lately that I use the word dank. So it's kind of like throwing me off, but yeah, that is dank. kind of cool it, it's a there's a fruit fly down here it's annoying me um there's a nice it's somewhat unique which is nice there's a familiarity which is nice so it kind of like it's like checking those boxes right where it's like oh i know i like these kinds of things right but also like there's some unique stuff so that's cool Let's see about the taste cheers thanks again brian hope you're doing well okay so for as much as i like the aroma the taste is like a next level up, okay? 
I get now usually for that nuttiness I just get an aroma maybe a little bit of taste I get a little bit more in the taste than I usually do it's got that dank weedy thing that you can get you know for sure with heady um citrusy not tons of grapefruit but a little bit of grapefruit um I'm thinking more like like a light orange zest but and it's it's interesting because it's there but the intensity is not huge it's, it's really an interesting experience that way like maybe like a dessert where you put in some orange zest so it's nicely incorporated to the whole thing so it's there like it's a prominent part but it's not the dominant thing you know so it's like it has that level of it even though i've tasted it the smells basically the same as i'm remembering before tasting it so nothing really to update there It's got a little bit of creaminess to it. Towards the finish, into the finish, way more zest is coming through. Sticking with the orange, the grapefruit, big uptick on that sip. As I'm talking, it's mostly the grapefruit zest, actually. A little bit of lemon in there, too. No lime. So, you know, a few different set, uh, citrus notes definitely throughout. And then different intensities and, and all that at you know different times of the experience, the sipping experience. Let me do one more sip and see what, what's going on. It's nice too because it, it's got a little bit of a bite, you know, like it, it, it not to keep saying like OG New England style, but you got some of that it's the same thing I kind of talk about my heady video and I think about it you know loving west coast ipas that those were the first ipa those are the only ipas that existed when i got into craft beer right or at least that i was aware of Hetty was around then to be fair but i hadn't had it so it's like you know it scratches a lot of those itches right like it hits a lot of those notes and then you see some of the things in this that like oh yeah then people ran with those things and created what we think of as new england style ipas today right so you, you to me you get the best of both worlds it is more west coasty or OGE New England. I don't even know. I don't know. It's just tasty. It, if I'm being honest, it's just a tasty beer and a great cause. I think this review is over. Thanks again, Brian. I really appreciate it. I really like this beer. Have you guys had this beer before? Have you had anything from Alchemist or Hill Farmstead? And uh, again, be on the lookout for uh, the other video that I'm going to film right after this one uh, about cool beers that have a cause. Uh, any thoughts, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check them out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews about those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.